Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fishing with James. This is episode 8 of my hand tied jig series, and today I'm going to be showing you how to tie a crappie jig that I call Black Gold. So let's go ahead and get started. The jig head I'm going to be using today is a 1 16th ounce jig head with a number 4 sickle hook. I painted this jig head black with Protec powder paint and went ahead and put gold eyes on it. So as always, we're going to lay a thin line of super glue from the head of the jig all the way down even with the point of the hook. Next, I'm just going to take my thread and wrap it from the head all the way down even with the point of the hook. The thread I'm using today is Danville's Two Tin Denier Flat Wax Nylon. Now I'm just going to take my scissors and cut the tag end off. Next for the tail, so I wanted to make this a dark crappie jig, but all I had were these really large marabou feathers, but we'll make it work. So what I've done here, I'm just going to use the very end of the marabou feather. I want it to be about the length of the hook, and once I have it sized properly, I'm going to lay it down onto the hook and begin to wrap thread around it. It's a little bit difficult to wrap thread around a feather this large, but it'll get the job done. Once I have enough wraps around the feather to keep it steady, and I see that it's sized properly, I'm going to start wrapping my thread all the way up to the head of the jig, just to tie the feather in. Once the feather's up to the head of the jig, I'm just going to take my scissors and cut the rest of the feather off. Now, because I don't think I got many wraps of thread around the feather in my initial wrapping, I'm going to take my thread and do a bunch more wraps just to make sure I have the feather tied in good. That should work. So the flash I'll be using for this jig is some gold crystal flash. I think it'll match the eye really well and just be a great accent. So I'm going to take one full strand of this flash and cut it in half. I'm going to take that strand and cut it in half again, just so that I can have two pieces of flash on each side of the jig, just like this. Once I have it around the hook, I'm just going to take my thread and begin wrapping it down, and then I'm going to make sure that I can hold it on either side of the jig, just like this, and wrap the thread all the way down, even with where I've wrapped everything else, and make sure that it's sized up on both sides of the jigs properly, just like this. Now I'm going to take my scissors and cut the flash just a little bit past the end of the feather. So this is what we have so far. You can see it's really starting to come along. Now it's time for the chenille. So the chenille I'm going to be using today is some black gold custom chenille in medium size. I'm going to start by taking the chenille and placing it at the head of the jig and wrapping thread down the hook. I'm going to turn the jig sideways just so I can see exactly where I'm wrapping it to. And I'm going to tie down to where I've tied everything else to. Now I'm just going to take my thread and go all the way back up to the head of the jig and set my thread off to the side. Now for the fun part, I'm just going to start wrapping the chenille up to the head of the jig. I want to make sure it stays even and I want to layer it a little bit so that way it has a nice even thickness all the way up to the head of the jig. So there we go, that should do it. So now I'm just going to take my thread and begin wrapping the chenille into the jig. I'm going to go underneath it, I'm going to go over it once, underneath it again, over it again, underneath. And now at this point, I'm just going to do a few more wraps on the other side just to make sure that it's tied into the jig tightly. Now I'm just going to take my scissors and cut the chenille and pull out any little fuzzy bits that want to stay behind. Now I'm just going to take my whip finishing tool and do a double whip finish. I'm going to do four or five wraps on the first time around, just like this. Pull it tight. And I'm going to do another four or five wraps on this side. And then pull it tight. Now I'm just going to take my scissors and cut my thread. And there we have it, a black gold crappie jig. Now all that's left to do is to bag these jigs up, put a sticker on the bag, and now these things are ready to get out and catch some crappie. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and if you're interested in checking these jigs out for yourself, head over to our Facebook page by clicking the link in the description and make yourself an order. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Hand Tied Jigs.